So I have come out on this fine summer's morning and I'm following a route I took last year with two different cameras. I took a 6x9 Zeiss folder and I took a 35mm Nikon with a cheap zoom. Uh, I said I still wasn't decided what the best outfit was, probably the Nikon. Anyway, I've decided to bring two different cameras out today. A little 35mm compact and the Holger. Now the last time I was here it was tipping it down with rain and uh, well yeah I didn't get the views but just look at them today. Absolutely fantastic views because we've had a week of rain and that's cleared yesterday so I'm left with the tail end of that front and it's magnificent. Now we're here to shoot, I'm oh, sorry to talk to you, I'm here to shoot some of the material I shot last year again and the old quarry and the mine workings are really what I'm after, apart from the obviously the big landscape view. And I'm doing a loop about six miles and I'll be coming back down the little track, which you can just see running along the side of the mountain. That's later on, it's about five miles loop to get there. And uh, the weather conditions are absolutely perfect. Now I am famously traveling light again. I've got my little Olympus RC, which I said probably wasn't the ideal camera for landscapes, but really, when I looked at the quality of the images from that last trip a few months ago, they just blew away the cheap compact, so it's coming out again. It's got XP2 in it. Oh, and by the way, I have got a new toy on order uh, from Japan. It's a camera, uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. If you can guess what it is, I'll make you a 16x20 print, free, and send it anywhere in the world from one of the images today. So, uh, yeah, stick your answers down below. Actually, sorry, when I said new, I meant old. Old camera, of course, film camera. So think of an old film camera, and uh, you might be right. Now on top of Connect, uh, the highest peak around here, got wonderful views all around as I'm sure you've seen on the B-roll. A little bit about the equipment. Now last time I was up here, as I said, I had a couple of uh, cameras, a 35mm and a 6x9 folder. Today I've come predominantly, excuse me for the midges, predominantly with my little Olympus RC with a yellow filter attached. Now this is shooting black and white Ilford XP2, which is perfect for these conditions. And it's just a wonderful little camera. I've got complete control over aperture, shutter speed, focus, etc. Although most things are at infinity. And I'm going to shoot a roll or two on my walk around this circuit. Now, when I get down to some old mine workings, which I was looking at last year, I didn't spend much time around them. And I remember thinking I need to come back. And I brought the Holger with me. Now, the Holger is obviously a very cheap plastic camera with a single element uh, plastic lens. 
but it does something very very nice to old buildings it renders them very sympathetically it's got a huge vignette on it it's soft in the corners it's low contrast it sort of goes with that that time period it's not hyper sharp so i've got about two or three miles well until i get down there and i'm going to be shooting with the olympus till i get there but uh, i'm really looking forward to it because the weather is absolutely ideal today Right, have arrived at the old mine workings, the old quarry barracks. Right, have arrived at the... Uh, clean the lens, Steve. I've arrived at the uh, the old barracks, the old sort of mine working area here, which is pretty desolate. And even on a day like today in the summer, it's quite grim. Now I've got the uh, got the Holger loaded up now with a, a roll of XP2 Super. And I've got a yellow filter on it as well, just to give a little bit more contrast. Uh, there's some wonderful scenery around here. I'm really itching to get started. And I'll also use up some frames on the Olympus RC. That'll be better for some of the close-ups. Well, that was a very pleasant way to spend 45 minutes or so. I'm just going to head off now to the last point of interest for the day for me. Now this is a another set of mine workings but they're a bit more dramatic for me. They're perched on top of a, a hill. I got a couple of lovely shots there last year and I'm hoping to do it justice with the Holger and the Little Olympus again this year. Now this is what I've come for. I hope you can hear me, a bit windy. Uh, I'm going to shoot this both with the uh, Holger and the RC. I think I'll do the RC from here. It will reproduce the shot I took with a 6x9 last year and it's got some nice cloud up there so it's going to give it a bit of punch to the image. Now if you can see with this, uh, this rather wide angle shot here, I am trying to keep the telephone, the telegraph pole, uh, in between the intersection of those two mountains. It just looks quite nice there where the mountains meet. Also it's got some good cloud background in. But this building on the left, this huge building, it's absolutely fantastic and uh, I do think this is going to make a very good shot for both the Holger and the Olympus.
Now the last angle I want to capture of this magnificent old relic is the one you can see here. Uh, I'm up on a little bit of a terrace. It actually looks like some sort of Neolithic dwellings. You know, it's, it looks ancient. But the angle is going to be a challenge for me because I haven't got a real wide angle lens on either camera. Last time I shot it at the uh, 28 millimeter end of a zoom. And to be honest, I could have done with a 24 or 20 to do it justice. So I'm going to have to work at it and probably get a bit further away than I would like. But um, this is the last shot of the day, so it's worth working at. You see, this is, this is the angle I think you need. It's really, really good. You get a good lead in with that slate takes you right up to the old ruin and that telegraph pole as well. Now as expected those images they won't work as well as last time because my lens isn't wide enough. I got down in the well, in the bushes down there down by that slate and uh, I couldn't get an angle with either camera. I could either have the slate or I could have the building at the top and the building's a strong thing so I put that in the frame and I went up there as you can see but the problem is let me just take you up there actually and show you what the problem is. The problem is you lose the angle on the shot and the building starts to sit down behind, in front, sorry, of the mountain. It doesn't stand out. It's just sort of blends all into one, not strong at all. So I'm afraid if you want to take this shot, you need a wide angle lens. So that's me wrapping up for this, this day, this morning. I have finished the roll in the Holger and I have almost finished the roll in the RC. Now typically when I'm on a trip I do not like to use every single frame on a roll of film. I've got about three or four frames at least left on here just in case I see something else. I'd rather just burn those frames off back at the car or back at the house and I don't want to load a new roll so it's always a good idea to keep a few in the breach if you like. So uh, yeah thanks very much for coming along and I'll see you again soon.